Hi, this is a quick tutorial video on composing and sending emails in Gmail. So we looked at some inbox features in previous tutorials. Now we're ready to look at some features of sending emails. So if I come over here to my compose button, which is that big plus in the top left hand corner, uh, I'm going to go ahead and expand this window so it looks a little bigger. Um, there's some things here you'll see in my compose window, my to, um, my subject, you notice I already have a signature as part of my email, which we'll look at uh, in a future tutorial. Uh, the thing I want to look at more specifically here is this toolbar located on the bottom. Uh, we've got our undo and our redo buttons, so you can sort of go back and forth if you make mistakes. Uh, our text options or emails there, um, the size of your text, uh, the normal bold underline italics. Uh, when I go text color, I can also go to background. Uh, my alignment. So a lot of these same features you probably are used to in Google Docs are there. Um, we've got uh, some other strike through or some other quotes. Down here at the bottom, uh, we've got the, some of the formatting options, attach, link, uh, emojis, those kind of things. One of the things I want to be make sure you differentiate between, if I insert files using Google Drive, that's going to pull links and it's going to automatically give people permission or it's going to ask you to give people viewing permission for specific things in your Google Drive. If you attach uh, those files, um, that actually physically attaches the file to your email and sends it uh, on that end. So a slight difference and depending on the file format um, that you're sending, uh, you might want to choose um, between those two. I also have the insert photo menu um, here um, and then I can do a signature as well as there's a feature recently added for sending and requesting money uh, through GPay, uh, which is a Google feature. Um, so those are some um, composition tools there. One of the things for the images, when I insert a photo, I can actually use photos that I have here that are part of mine. I can upload photos from my computer or I can do a web address if I have an image. So that would be like if I did a Google image search, I can also insert GIFs that way. Uh, if you have the, um, the URL for the GIF, uh, or the GIF, depending on um, how you pronounce it. One of the features that Google has most recently added is on the right side here of this send button is a down arrow now. Now you'll see I have this red button, that's part of a boomerang extension, which you may be familiar with, but everybody here should have this blue drop down menu. So you can click that and one of the best features that they've added recently is this schedule send button. So I can write my email, I can get everything exactly as I want it to be, and then I can schedule the send. I have to have someone in here. I'll pretend like we're going to send it to myself. And then I can schedule the send. This allows me to pick some selected uh, times ahead of time, or I can go ahead and just choose and pick a custom date and time and schedule that send. Uh, that allows me then um, to do that. I'll go ahead and I'll pretend that we're going to do it um, now for there. We'll schedule it then. Now notice it disappears. Uh, so now if you want to edit that before it's sent, you'll notice right here on the side, there's a scheduled menu. So if I click on that, I can come in here and I can click on that email. And right now it says it's scheduled. If I want to edit it, I can just click cancel send. And that will allow me to cancel that message or I can go in there. Uh, I can also, it's been right here, it says reverted to drafts, so I can go into my drafts as well, and I can find that message and I can go back in and edit it if I'd like. So those are the, some of the Compose tools uh, that you might be interested in. Again, the general sort of HTML formatting tools uh, for changing the appearance of your email, maybe some images, emojis, attachments, as well as the scheduling tool. Thanks.